welcome back everyone to another episode of Greece! So guys, we are here playing as Greece and we are trying to invade the Chinese. And for no other particular reason, just because we had free time and the Chinese were one of the big nations that we actually, I actually did think about this and there were kind of more reasons that we need to attack the Chinese. One is that they're kind of one of our main competitors to try to get into the great power range. I mean, honestly, they have... Um, they have, uh, let's see, uh, what was it? They are like the 10th place right now in terms of numerical order of who, who is this? And we're Greece, and we need to get into that 10th place. So if we knock these guys out with like destroying all the military and maybe destroying all the industrial power and probably all the prestige, um, then we will move up in the world and be able to do more stuff. And then we just have to deal with Sweden, which is a total of 517. How much do we have? 454. Like, seriously, we are just insanely close to becoming what we need to for uh, this world. And I'm not, if you guys, if you guys ever know me, I'm not going to go send my troops down to the actual mainland of the Chinese Empire. Because I already know that there is certain things that you should not do, and this is one of those things. And as you guys know, we've, we've had the, uh, we've had the, uh, liber the Liberal Party in power recently. And uh, they've been doing a fairly good job. I've normally I would say I hate the liberals in this case because they usually are like one of the worst fact uh, factions to go in. But for some reason they're actually being really nice. And Portugal, you want an alliance again after you guys just cut me off because you were jerks. So did you, Austria? You guys want my alliance back? Uh, you guys totally want my alliance back. Trust me. Trust me. Y you guys don't know it yet, but you guys totally want my alliance. Because you guys will definitely want me when you guys want to go fight against your arch nemesis, the English. See? I mean, this this was like an insanely easy war. Okay. And let's see. Australia, you guys want to be friends. We just need to increase relations one more time. And then we can be friends with Austria, which would be pretty nice. I'm not going to be friends. I think genderism has always been... Ugh, dang it, now you guys are all being pro-militaristic people. What happened to you? What happened to my country? Oh! You gotta be kidding me. Okay, increase it one more time. Let's see. Come on. Come on. And I think I'll be able to end... I think they will be able to end this war before... Yeah, this will be a pretty easy war. A uh, form... Form an alliance. Oh my goodness, that is like the most annoying thing ever. Alright, Portugal, you seem to be doing Portuguese things, which means you probably won't have a good time. Let's see, the Ottoman Empire is still pretty weak, which is good. Just This kind of just makes it kind of funny because then we don't have a good alliance, a good major alliance of three alliances to go beat up the Ottomans with. And two is still acceptable. Just going to say that now, two is still acceptable, but I was hoping for three, you know what I mean? It was kind of like, yeah, I wanted three, but things didn't happen, and so, meh. But anyways, we're just casually watching as, oh my goodness, there we go. A population, well, didn't jump to what I wanted to be, but that's still about 6 million people off the bat. <laughs> oh my goodness. What? Oh my. Wow. Okay, is there anything you guys want as a population? Because I'm feeling really generous right now. Chicken pensions, no. Uh, chicken subsidies, eh, we could do that. Now that we have insane amounts of, um, power, oh gosh, dang, this is, this is way too much. Okay, so Italy wants to be an alliance. Uh, sure, actually, that wouldn't actually be that, that bad. You guys actually got your stuff together, so now you guys are actually good. Oh my goodness. Okay, so now that we have a massive, a massive, uh, center of, army building let's start using that to our advantage to start building a uh, good army now, I'm gonna try to stick with six one two three seven that's eight okay so tanks count as armor but we don't have armor yet one two three four five six seven okay build our one right here okay and then build our two right there 
Okay. So yeah, we're going to try to build an entire army just over there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Everyone on the ships. Oh my goodness. Divine state capitalism. I, I really don't care anymore. This is like, we just made a profit off of just defeating and utterly embarrassing the, uh, the uh, Chinese Empire. By the way, are you guys, you guys are still not westernized? Seriously? Okay, this is, you know, you guys really have got to have learned how to westernize. I mean, I honestly should say it, it I, I don't think I could say it any more plainly. You guys should have westernized like a couple turns ago. Because, I mean, look how much valuable your land is. It's like insanely valuable. No, no. Let's not, no. In the long run, Korea is not worth it. Let's not let's not get into the political turmoil of that place. Let's just go back home. I'll go stick this army down at uh at uh there and just <laughs> I'm I'm still kind of like in a oh my goodness we are rich people like it, we are no longer poor we are rich like insanely rich I. Okay, now I have to figure out how are we going to take down Sweden a little bit. They have absolutely no friends right now. How could we... Hmm. Liberate country. Hmm. We want to do something small. We don't want to do... Humiliate. That's all I want to do is we just want to humiliate them. Or I could dismantle fortifications. Now let's just humiliate them. <laughs> also... Speaking of infrastructure, let's start like upgrading our infrastructure up the boot. Dang! I didn't think this would ever happen. We're gonna be like seriously rich in terms of infrastructure. Oh, good. Yeah, we can actually like get all this up. Let's build a naval base. Get all this up. Get all this up. Okay. And get all this up. I mean, now, people, this is. I love when this happens. I don't know why, China. I feel like invading China is like the, the end-all be-all like thing you should always do in Victoria too. And I think this is what my common strategy is always going to be now. It's just to invade China. Because it seems to work generally about 99% of the time. Okay. But anyways. <laughs> uh, okay. I really like state capitalism. I'm telling my people now. Okay. We have so much taxes. Okay. We can stop taxing the poor as much. Because that's... Uh, I'm ludicrous. I'm ludicrously rich right now. It's not even good call. Okay, I'm, it's not even funny. And we're going to humiliate the uh, the uh, Swedish government right now, since also because they have no one on their side, which is like the ultimate greatest thing. The Russians will probably just go in, invade them, and we will just watch as they destroy everything that they know and love. And we'll be right here watching and kind of laughing at them in a little bit. And yeah. Okay, we should probably get behavioralism, that way we get the utmost of our new and improved economy. Okay, let's just get all this, the factories, reactionaries, and all that. Uh, South Zenai, uh, you could probably close this down. Oh, no, 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 close this down, close this down, that's what I meant to say. Because it would be, the population that we have here would be way more useful for, like, factories that are already going to grow, so. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dang, gosh dang. Okay, so, as soon as we can, we're gonna have ourselves declare war on Sweden. We're gonna basically push them out of, oh, they already get, get pushed out of this place. Well then, we'll just go to war just because we want to. Because we are, it's the time to act. That's not really the, I, that's not really wise prospected guy. Huh. That's kind of sad. I was kind of hoping for that wise words of they're coming for us. Okay. Alright, that, 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 I don't know, that, that was kind of disappointing right there. I, I was really, I was, it was, it was kind of disappointing people, because I was really kind of hoping for they're coming for us. Okay, and, um, all the soldiers should start to pop up over around here, which should be good. Um, modern, you know what, since the liberals took power, let's, let's start giving the liberals a little bit more say in what happens because you know what they've they've they have been terrible in the years reduction of prestige okay let's see this sweden declare war reduction of prestige this isn't really that big i don't believe none of my allies will not join in 
Oh no, don't tell me Russia did not join in. Okay, France did join in, that's fine. You know, France not being a good team player is all good. But if you guys could become my friends again because you, we have a mutual friendship with two other people, that'd be great. Yes, they will become my friends. Good. See, Austria? It's not that hard to become friends again. By the way, you guys ready to become friends? No. They still kind of hate me. Okay, well now we're going to watch as Russia comes in to mobilize action. I mean, I honestly, actually now that I think about this, I probably could fight this battle pretty effectively, but I don't know why. I've, I've had like an insane like European like esque thing of just say, let them deal with it. I mean, why should I have to deal with it? I'm the great, I'm the great and mighty Greeks. Should I really have to deal with such petty problems as this? Wow, that sounds really, really snoobish. But I, that's, I, I guess that's kind of how my culture is right now. Just kind of like, hmm. Should I, should I really help this person down here, or should I just continue on my way? You know, I don't, I don't think I give or really care about anyone else in the world right now but myself. Okay, let's get right here, get on the boats, and let's go put you guys over here. You guys are dealing with serious rebel problems, and I'm going to have to expand the forts here because I already know China will be trying to attack me at some point to try to reclaim this all. So I want to make sure that we are guarded to make sure this does not happen. And yeah, China's going to be dealing with a lot of rebel problems for a little bit after we've crushed their army. And I'm going to go send all my people over here. We're grouping up our new, entirely new army. Okay. This is all looking good. Get my army out there. Okay, and back over here in the mainland. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Seems like they got tied up inside a war. Okay, so let's see. Reduction of prestige. As soon as I said that, there was a war between Eastern Slug and Howland. And that is an awesome flag, Poland! Oh, you guys, oh! You guys are fascist! Oh, wow, um... Congrats? Um, I, I don't know what to say to them. Except for, except for, uh, the congrats, I guess! You guys are the most pretty fascist country of them all. Yeah, okay. So, it seems like... What that generally means is I'm going to have to go help Russia a little bit. So what I'm going to go do is go land my troops over here, and we're going to go defeat some of the Swedish armies by ourselves. So I guess, I guess it's not, if you want something to do, if you want something done right, you got to do it yourself. One of those kind of moments. Okay. So I'm guessing those are all just like spawn troops, because there's no way they could have an army that big. And Russia is starting to fight back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, wait, do we want to engage a 74 stack? No, let's just guard in St. Petersburg. No, don't get off spawn rebels. Okay, just keep keep in St. Petersburg. Let's see if a good defense bonus. This guy's my ultimate defender, so we could see if we could, like, destroy thousands of their troops here. Let's see, come on. Yes! Oh my goodness, we have slaughtered them! We slaughtered those stupid Swedish dogs! Yeah! 13 war score for that one battle. Okay, let's start reconquering all of good old Russia land. And let's start moving into the mighty Swedish Empire. <laughs> now that we're uncontested. Helsinki, back under our control. Insistesia is ours. It is ours. We gained the land properly and, you know, without much of a fight, may I add. Okay, so let's see. Uh, foreign investments. Okay, so now they... The capitalists are starting to become lame, so let's see, what factory do I what people do I want? Can build railways. I want to be able to build the factories because I feel like I could build them better than my own people can. So let's put these guys in and cease production. And militaristic complex? Well. Hmm. It's kinda late in the it's kinda late in the era to kind of be kind of be going into militaristic complex because we're like almost literally almost done with the game so no not gonna do that uh what we are gonna do though is try to build up the some of these regions like this region right here we should like incorporate into our overall big empire we can actually build a tank factory which I think would be really profitable 
Uh, why aren't you guys estimated time to finish 1840? Are you guys even building any of these? Like, uh, I I don't know. I'm just going to start like destroying some of them. Cause I feel like these they're not building any of them. I could keep these around because those are like new industry kind of things. But like this one, okay, just expand this. Um, let's build like one. Let's build like a small arms factory. Let's see, do we have any kind of small arms factories already built so that we can make sure we don't like... No, we do not. So, here in Thessalonia, I'm going to build a... A, uh... Ammo shop, and then I'm going to build a small arms factory. Wait, where's the ammo? Where's the ammo? There it is. Why can't I build this? No, ammo, no ammunition factory in state. Oh, it already built it. Oh, that's why. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is this is definitely the place I'm gonna build it right here, and there we go. All right. Yeah, I got some deducts in terms of economy because now I'm running my economy all by myself. Taxes should go down to a minimum of something. Doesn't really matter though. I'm I'm like, we can lower taxes to 55. That's so cool. I mean, it's not really that much bigger, and I'm pretty sure I just won the war, so that's pretty awesome. And thank you, Russia, for your mighty help again in this war. Without you guys, we'd probably be... Eh. I think I'd be alright. I mean, I have 7,000... I'm the seventh most prestigious country in the world, so... You know, that's gotta say something. So, let's just get on our ships. Get on our stuff. And I think our second army has been... Or our third army has been created. Get back here. And let's go check it out. <laughs> Yes. Wait, did this combine with another army I know? Use secret weapons, reformations, factory output. <laughs> all great things, all great things. Okay, let's get down here and now we can steal. Let's get some steel railroads going. Let's see. Any huge gigantic stacks that aren't supposed to be here? No, this is all just. This is all the army. Okay, 6 8 there. Is there any more soldiers being made? Yes, there are. There's two artillery being made. Uh, that's actually way too many. Build one less. Okay. There's my new army. <laughs> All built from the Chinese sweat. That sounds really wrong, but it is the truth. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, now we're starting to build up some of this stuff. I think the reason why I'm not building up any of this is because I don't have an electric factory. Wait, wait. Show empty. I think what I'm going to build here is an electric company first, and now start building other stuff. I think that's what we're really missing right now is an electric company and all that. But we're we're starting to build a decent economic base now that we've actually gotten into that old stuff. And Russia's going to soon be destroyed by a might by a fascist Poland. This doesn't sound quite right, but it sounds very interesting. That's the way I'll put it. Um. Is Serbia finally taking advantage of... No. They, I thought Serbia was going to be taking advantage of the weakness in the Austrian Empire and be trying to conquer all this land back for their own use. Which would have been pretty cool. Okay. Now that we have an entire new army over there in the... In here, I'll probably keep these guys over here just to protect this land just because the Chinese are aggressive, aggressive people. So... What we should do is probably build another army. And let's see, I think I'll start building the next one in either Africa or... Hmm. See, there's not many places but, but China that I'd really want to build all these soldiers in. So let's start building a second army. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then... One, two, okay, and then one, okay, two, three, four, five, and then one right there, six. There we go. So that's going to be scattered around the entire world. I'm going to bring this army back, and what we're going to do is we're going to use it to uh, go back to the mainland so we have another powerful army there stationed in our main country just like sitting there like yep yep we're, we're just standing here ottomans we're, we're not we're not planning to invade at all just casually keeping our 51 death stack here watching you guys you know you know this is this is all usual this is all usual stuff 
And it looks like, it looks like France is carefully building up its army to do a invasion of UK. That's going to be good because we're going to need some more UK support once we attack them again. Uh, and it looks like Austria is really attacking Belgium. Belgium is like, no, no, Belgium gave a military axis. The Emperor of Mexico is absolutely doing nothing to try to reprimand the Americans expansionists into Chiricahua. Sad of you, Mexico. Sad. You guys should be like, yeah, we are Mexico. We're going to try to invade as much as possible and not let you guys push us around because we're Mexico. Yeah, you see, we're going to we're gonna have to make this first and then we can start making everything else. All right. Our main factories back at home, we're doing a pretty good job on. We're also subsidizing most of them. I just realized that if you can stop being subsidized. Like, these factories are just doing insanely well. Just insane amounts. Okay, let's do that. Into integral rail system. Let's start building that. Let's start upgrading our rail systems. I mean, we are okay. Wait, we haven't even finished the first time upgrading it. Let's just wait a second then. Do do do. Cheers or cheers, I guess. Cheers, everyone. <laughs> cheers to the bottom of my heart. Cheers. Okay. Right. This international war between Austria and Russia really has to end though in a couple in one year because we're going to need to use Russia's mighty army and France's mighty army to go crush an even bigger foe of the uh, um, uh, English Empire. I mean, I could probably fight them on my own if they weren't so dang powerful. I mean, there is no denying that they are just insanely buffed. Okay, you guys, okay, I'm going to bring you guys up here. You guys are going to move to right there. I'm going to have my other transports come in, and we're going to uh, do some more stuff. Let's just get them right over there. Ta-da! Okay, get these guys right over here. Alright, ta-da! And let's get our transports over here. And voila. This is And this is all because I really just don't feel like building the Panama Canal. Or I should say, I haven't gotten the technology to build the Panama Canal, so I'm not even trying. Oh uh, gosh. Okay, so let's build it all the way over here where we invented Zenti. Mo motion carries. Yes. Okay, get the soldiers over here. Alright. So now let's expand the railroad again. Do -do -do -do. And we're just keeping up with this railroad expansion. That's all I gotta say. Like, we, we Greeks are now, since we've industrialized, we're keeping up. Like, yeah, we're keeping up on this. Because <sighs> we love the railway. That's all I gotta say. We insanely love the railway. Okay, it seems like some massive new rebellion just formed. I have absolutely two armies that could easily crush every single one of these here. So let's go have them go crush every single one of these over here. Okay. Got liberals in power. Okay, and then finally, I think as soon as we crush this army, I think the truce is almost about out. We can start justifying a war for a completely unrelated reason of why we want to conquer them back um liberate country would probably be the best let's see truces let's see the truces yep the truces have ended so now i'm just gonna try to liberate a country liberate a country causes better i know i just took a lot of infamy for this so this better work um and basically what we're going to try to do is we're just going to try to completely and utterly attack these guys Ah, uh, great. You gotta be kidding me. You guys are still at war. Okay, how much further until one of you guys win? Seriously. Okay, you guys require Reskenhagen. Uh. Okay, I'll accept this just because I know France can easily kick the butt out of the, uh, out of the uh, British Heine any day. So, we're just gonna accept that. And sadly, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.